you know, it's a contradiction for me because I want you to come back and read my stuff or you know the things that my team are, are doing or this is important work, this is important news and like if more of you come back it's going to be great for our advertisers and that's going to be wonderful but do we have to do it in a way that plays on whatever that insecurity is, whether that insecurity is around not having read enough today or not having showed out enough today or whatever it is and that for me has always been being part of the media machine something I struggle with all the time. <laughs> quickly talk about how you see your own work contributing to this ongoing debate about the representation of modern women. I believe it's our responsibility to continue to pave the way forward. Um, I think it's other women and men because we are both part of the solution. So how do we bring more women and men into a, a different way of thinking and really change those norms? And it's through, I think, um, our participation in, in our own company and organizational efforts, internally speaking, but also through professional associations and external involvement. So we're changing dynamics in, in multiple ways. I think working in a magazine that's for women in their 20s, I think this generation is having a much harder time, um, certainly than I did, because they're judging themselves against everything they see on social media, they're in a difficult economy, and so I think that at my work, we do so much to try and reassure them. We do so much to try and give them tools to figure out what it is that they can do that they feel passionate about. Um, I think that reaching, depth, reaching to this generation is something that I feel passionate about, and I think that all women have responsibility to, to work with our 20-something women. So thank you so much to each of you. For